Hello, I'm Ann Gross, and I'm here to show you how to make a hexahexaflexion with just a straight edge, colored pencils, tape, a compass, a pencil, scissors, and of course, paper. Step one. First, you're going to take your ruler and draw a line all the way across your paper. And then, with your compass, you're going to draw 19 equilateral triangles with one for gluing. To make the 19 equilateral triangles, you pick a point on your line and you put the needle there and then you start by making an arc. And where the arc intersects with the line is where you put your needle again and you keep making arcs. You do that through the whole length of the line until you have a bunch of points to connect to make the 19 equilateral triangles. Okay. Now that you've drawn the arcs with the compass and found the points for the 19 triangles, you can connect the points with the straight edge and then cut it out. Now that you've cut it out, you should have something that looks like this. Now you can start folding it. Keep folding it until you have 19 little triangles. Okay, you should have a piece of paper that looks like this. And to make it easier to fold your hex hex flexion, you can number the strip of paper by going 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and so on, and leaving the last triangle to glue. And on the other side, you can start by doing a triangle for gluing, and then 4, 5, 5, 5, 6, 6, and so on. Now to color your hex hex flexion before you flex it, it's really easy. All you have to do is color your 1's the same, your 2's the same color, your 3's the same color, and so on. And leave the glue spaces blank. Now the final step of creating your hex hex flexagon is folding it. To fold it, just follow my steps. Now that you've twisted it around, you can just fold it like so, and tape the two glue spots together, and you've assembled your hexahexaflexagon. Now for the final step, I'll show you all six sides of my hexahexaflexagon. Diamond, spade, star, circle, club, and heart. 